If you've been watching my videos for a while, there are two things you probably know for sure about me, and one is that my favorite paintbrushes are Winsor Newton Series 7 brushes, and that I am constantly on the lookout for uh, an equivalent brush that costs less. So with that in mind, I do spend a lot of time um, trying out various brushes that I discover either by recommendation or a Kickstarter or whatever. And so today I'm going to be talking about brushes. Uh, specifically, these are uh, WAMPs, W-A-M-P. Uh, these are the brushes from their Kickstarter. Uh, I got the, the most basic set, which was their base coat brush, the detail brush, fine detail brush, and the freehand brush. So let's take a look at them. So here I've got the four brushes that I got in the Kickstarter, and as you can probably tell, one of them has gotten a little bit more use than the others, and that is the base coat brush, which you can't even read the embossing on the brush anymore, even though it's still there. And if you look closely, you can see it, but it's gotten a hell of a lot of use. Now, let's talk about why that one and not the others. Well, let's take a closer look. Okay, here you can see the business end of the four brushes. And on close inspection like this, you can see that there really isn't a great deal of difference between the four of them. Uh, there is some minor size differences. Uh, this is the base coat brush, and I should say that this isn't the way that it looks when you first get it. It'd be a little fuller. This one has lost a couple of bristles, and in fact, at this point, this brush is, uh, for me, starting to get close to retirement. Um, it's lost some of its uh, spring, um, as well as the, uh, the bristles, but... In general, this is about the size I like to work in, and so the it's got a good body, which means it'll hold a lot of paint, and it comes to a nice tip, uh, which I like. But here's the other thing, is that the tip isn't too fine. Um, I've found that, uh, while I like the Winsor Newton Series 7s, actually I should say I love the Winsor Newton Series 7, they come to such a sharp point that uh, it actually makes it difficult for doing some things, particularly eyes, which is why this brush that I'm holding here has become my go-to brush uh, for eye work. And this is a Rosemary and Company uh, number zero, and it has a nice um, kind of blunt point. This is another one that's starting to get close to retirement age. Um, but I'll come back to that in a bit. Anyway, so in terms of how I like to work, this brush is nearly perfect in size. Uh, this is the detail brush. It looks similar, but it doesn't have the same body. Uh, and that actually makes a lot of difference to me. Uh, and it doesn't have the right feel for me. Uh, this is the fine detail. And again, it's a little bit smaller, and uh, it, it feels similar to the detail brush in most respects. And, in, and, and truthfully, the difference, differences between the two are so small that I, I don't know why I'd want one over the other. In fact, actually, I would probably, if, if I were, if I had to choose between the two, I would take the larger uh, as it holds more paint and the tips are about the same. For me, when I'm working with a paintbrush, I want the brush to be as large as possible. So uh, the only reason I might want a smaller brush is to get into tighter spaces. And then the freehand brush really, in most respects, looks almost identical to the fine detail brush. So I, I don't, I think the, the um, It might be a little sharper, but I didn't really find any real variance between the two brushes, and I couldn't see why I would choose one or over the other. Uh, it's really just a coin toss for me. So 
uh, across these three brushes, this one would win out the, uh, the detail brush. But across the four, the base coat brush really is the overall winner. Now, that's great, you know, like I, I, I have used this brush constantly since I got them uh, months ago now. And that means that it's gotten a lot of use, a lot of use. I mean, you know, the, the uh, lettering has worn off of it. And it has performed like a champ. I love this brush. I love this brush every bit as much as uh, I love my Winsor Newton Series Sevens, which is saying a lot. Now, here's the real kicker: is that it's inexpensive um, to buy this from their website. It's uh, five and a half pounds, which works out to roughly eight dollars U.S. Now, the downside is uh, shipping. If you were just going to buy one brush, kind of doubles the price, which then bumps your price back up to about what you would spend on a Winsor Newton Series 7 and when you get to that point you're like well why wouldn't I just buy the other thing but if you are ordering other things from the company or if you wanted to uh, experiment with a range of their brushes then the per brush price goes down for shipping so if you're buying four brushes then it doesn't seem nearly as bad as if you're just buying one brush so as I mentioned earlier, the brushes are manufactured by Rosemary and Company. Uh, now Rosemary and Company uh, has a nice reputation for making really good brushes at really reasonable prices. Uh, again, like the Winsor Newton Series Sevens, they're Kalinske Sables, and the quality is very high. Uh, when I experimented with Rosemary and Company brushes, though, I found that for the most part. Uh, I just didn't like the feel of them overall, and so they didn't find their way into my regular rotation, except for that single uh, number one brush that I use for eyes. That, I last time I bought brushes, I bought several of those because I wanted to make sure I always had one on hand. So that has become my default eye and super fine detail brush. It's not a size brush I normally like to use, but because of the the particular properties of that brush, uh, I find it a, a fantastic tool for that purpose. So the same thing might hold true uh, with the, the Womp brushes. And, you know, I found one of these four that I love, but uh, the rest of them don't really do anything for me. So it might just be a matter of picking and choosing. Whereas with the Winsor Newton Series 7, Regardless of what size that I get, I know I'm going to find the brush to be useful in some way or another. Uh, and I will like the feel of it and it'll work out fine for me. I have a particular size that I like, which is either number one or number two, depending on how I'm feeling on a particular day. Um, but I know I know what I'm going to get out of it. I know how it's going to behave. And, you know, I, you know since I've been using those things for more than 20 years, uh, that's not surprising. But uh, with these brushes, I think they're definitely worth experimenting with if you are interested in experimenting. And you can just buy them off their website. And again, the, the shipping is, uh, does offset some of your savings, but because they're so inexpensive, why not? Why not give them a try? So I hope you find that useful. Uh, I am always on the lookout for great brushes, so if you know of other brushes that perhaps I should try and review, let me know, and I will do it. But that's going to do it for now, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.